Hi, Abraham. It looks like we have another equilibrium question. So here we have PCL5 that's decomposing into PCL3 and chlorine gas. So I've gone ahead and set up our ice table for us. So we're starting off with 0 0.388 molar concentration of PCL5, and we have no products to begin. So as our reaction proceeds, we lose a little bit of the PCL5 in the form of minus X, and we gain an equal amount of PCL3 and, and Cl2 as plus X. And so our equilibrium expression is 0 0.38 minus X for the PCL5, and PCL3 and chlorine gas are just X. So let's go ahead to the next board, and let's see our equilibrium expression in action. So we can see we've set it up as products over reactants, and the equilibrium expression we're told is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the negative two. So as we flesh this out, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our values from our ice table. So for PCL3 and Cl2, we, both, we know that's both X, so we can just write X squared on the top. And in the denominator for PCL5, we can write 0 0.388 minus X. And again, this is still equal to 1.2 minus 10 to the negative two. So as we kind of work this out, we're solving for x squared. We work through this and we end up getting to a quadratic. There's no way really to avoid this. There's no kind of math trick to do. And this, this doesn't look like it's nominal. The change is nominal. So we're gonna have to go ahead and kind of power our way through the quadratic equation. And so I've set that up for us on board three. Here is our quadratic equation. And then I've said, let X equal the quadratic formula. And we just plug in our values. And so we're just kind of chugging through the algebra here. Um, one thing to notice is right here where you have 1.2 times 10 to the negative two squared, 1.2 squared is just 1.44. And when you square an exponent, you can just basically multiply it. So we get negative four for its exponent. And we're just doing algebra until we finally get where we have x is equal to negative 1.2 times 10 to the negative two plus or minus 0 0.137 all over two. Now here, we wanna consider both the plus and minus situations. And so we're gonna break them apart and see which one of them gives us a sensible answer. So as you can see in the negative department where we've got negative two times, we're taking negative 1.2 times 10 to the negative two minus 0 0.137, that's gonna give us a negative number. That's a nonsensical answer that cannot be correct. So we can go ahead and reject that. So we'll stick with the positive one where we have negative 1.2 times 10 to the negative two plus 0 0.137 divided by two. And we find X is equal to 0 0.0625. So now we've, we've done a lot of algebra, right? It feels like we're back in college algebra. Where, where did all this get us? Like, why did we do this? So we go ahead and look back at our ice table. And this is how we're gonna go ahead and plug in X. And we find that the concentration at equilibrium for PCL5 is 0 0.388 minus X. So we plug in our value of X. And we find that at equilibrium, PCL5 is equal to 0 0.326 molar. And in the cases of PCL3 and Cl2, they have the same concentration at equilibrium, which is just X, which is 62.5 millimolar. So I hope this helps you and I hope this helps you move forward.